Welcome to the History AI Podcast, where the past comes alive with facts, anecdotes, and a dash of humor. Here are your hosts, Chuck and Marco. Welcome back to another episode of the History AI Podcast. I'm your host Marco. And I'm Chuck. Today we're diving deep into the life of a philosopher who not only changed the course of European thought but also had a profound impact on the birth of the United States. That's right. We're talking about the one and only, Baron de Montesquieu. Montes who? Oh, come on Chuck, really? Kidding I'm only kidding. Just trying to lighten the mood. When you dive into philosophy, sometimes you need a little humor to keep things from getting too dense. All right, starting with his early life. Charles Louis de Secondat, Baron de la Bride de Montesquieu, better known simply as Montesquieu, was born on January 18, 1689, in the Bordeaux region of France. Wow! Say that name ten times fast. Right? He was born into a family of nobility, and his lineage can be traced back to a long line of noblemen in France. His father, Jacques de Secondat, was a soldier with a long noble ancestry, and his mother, Marie Francoise de Pesnel brought the title of Baron de la Bride to the family through her lineage. Ah, being born into nobility. It's like winning the 17th century lottery, except instead of money, you get wigs, castles, and a lot of responsibility. Montesquieu was a man of many talents. Not only was he an incredible philosopher, but he was also a lawyer, man of letters, and political philosopher. Sounds like he was the Renaissance man. Of the Enlightenment. Nice one Chuck. So let's talk about his role in the Enlightenment. The Enlightenment was this huge intellectual movement of the 17th and 18th century. It emphasized reason, individualism, skepticism, and science. Right, and Montesquieu's work was pivotal to this movement. His most famous work, The Spirit of the Laws, published in 1748, was a comparative study of governments. He introduced the idea of separating political power among different branches of governance. Ah the whole checks and balances thing, right? Exactly. He believed that in order to prevent tyranny and protect liberty, the three branches of government, the executive, the legislative and the judicial, should be separate entities. And Montesquieu's ideas weren't just about governance. He believed in the rights of individuals, in the importance of moderation, and in the dangers of arbitrary rule. He was also a staunch critic of slavery and argued that the law should secure people's rights to freedom and safety. In Persian letters, he used the fictional letters between two Persian travelers in Europe and their friends in Persia, to criticize contemporary European society. So he basically used two fictional Persians to throw some major shade at Europe. Classic Montesquieu His ideas about separation of powers had a profound effect on the drafting of the U.S. Constitution. The Founding Fathers, particularly James Madison, took inspiration from Montesquieu's ideas. Yup, his fingerprints are all over the Constitution. Montesquieu might as well have been sitting right there with the Founding Fathers, drinking some tea and saying, hey, let's divide power to keep things balanced. Before we continue with Montesquieu's lasting impact, a quick word from our sponsors. Introducing the Game Changer in Energy Boosts, Strike Force Energy. Elevate your drinks without the sugar, without the calories. Whether you're hitting the gym, the office, or the great outdoors, a dash of Strike Force Energy supercharges your drink and you. Dive into StrikeForceEnergy.com to explore. And hey, here's a little spark use code UTSALAX24 at checkout for a cool 20% off. That's UTSALAX24. Strike Force Energy, the power-up you've been waiting for. Okay, back to Montesquieu's legacy. Despite his death in 1755, his ideas still reverberate in governments around the world. Not only did his writings inspire the framers of the U.S. Constitution, but they also provided a foundation for the abolishment of slavery, the rise of the women's rights movement, and the establishment of the rule of law in many modern countries. And that, my friends, is what you call leaving a mark. Agreed Chuck. So, whether you are enjoying the freedoms of a balanced government or just admiring the brilliant minds of the Enlightenment, remember to tip your hat to Montesquieu. Or at least give a nod to that massive wig he probably wore. That's our show for today. Thanks for tuning into the History AI Podcast. I'm Marco. And I'm Chuck. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring history.